Hey everybody, this is Harry. This is a response to uh, Blu-ray Collectors 1971's uh, tag video of uh, the five of my favorite James Bond films. And uh, anyways, let's let's get started on it. Um, I'm a Bond fan. I, I grew up. I was born in '66, and I grew up watching the Roger Moore. Uh, Bond. That's all I knew from, you know, growing up as a teenager or a young man, uh, young boy to teenage with the Roger Moore films. And it was, didn't know until, uh, ooh, when was it? I guess around the time Octopussy came out, there was a uh, James Bond film that came out uh, with Sean Connery, Never Say Die. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, it came out at the same time and it kind of was on the news a lot uh, I remember saying oh Sean Connery returns as James Bond and Roger Moore has a, a, a Bond film out called Octopussy and uh, I believe it was Octopussy or For Your Eyes Only one of the two so anyways I was shocked to know that uh, Sean Connery was in um, was the original Bond and, I, and it wasn't years until maybe the 90s when I seen a VHS of uh, Goldfinger uh, that I uh, rented it and watched it. And I was like, oh, I like this. And then rented Dr. No. The library had the VHS cassettes of uh, the James Bond film. So I was, that's how I uh, caught up on the, <coughs> excuse me, the um, Sean Connery ones. So I liked them. And because uh, I always thought... Uh, Roger Moore was never my favorite uh, Bond. <coughs> I always thought his movies were kind of campy. Uh, the fight scenes were pretty cheap. It was kind of funny to me. Um, you know, the fake karate chops and all that. But they were fun. They were fun to watch. Um, but, you know, I just... He wasn't my favorite Bond after I saw the Sean Connery ones. And I was like, I like Sean Connery. I didn't care for Timothy Dalton. Actually, I don't remember the ones that he did. And Pierce Brosnan are just like a haze. Um, I actually don't even own those Bonds. Um, I don't own the big 50 set um, like James and Ian has. Um, I've been collecting them a little bit here and there, but I haven't got... I'm still working on the Roger Moore um, set. So... Um, but I do have all of Daniel Craig's, who is my favorite Bond right now. I, I love the Daniel Craig Bonds. I like how dark they are, action. Uh, he's not as suave as, I guess, Roger Moore or Sean Connery. But, yeah, Daniel Craig, when I say in Casino Royale, I just flipped out. I, I still... To this day, I like watching that movie. I'll put it on in that chase scene in the beginning when they're running on the cranes and stuff like that. That, that I get excited about that. That was like been a while since I seen a movie like that. That gets me excited. <coughs> get up in the theater and and shout and stuff. <coughs> As you can tell, I've been. I got a cold Monday. Right after I did my Maryland video, I got sick. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here we go again. So, so I'm going to just give you, make this quick, um, my top five Bond films that I, I like. Uh, number five, uh, Roger Moore's first uh, Bond film, Live and Let Die. Is, is the, the fifth one for me. Um, classic theme song by McC Paul McCartney and Wings, uh, Live and Let Die. Uh, Yafat Kato, I think that's how you say his name, is in that. Just great. I like the voodoo uh, theme of it. It was um, James Bond goes black exploitation, black exploitation in that one. Jane Seymour is the Bond girl. Uh, live and let die it's the number five number four Spectre a lot of people don't like 
I guess people didn't care too much for Spectre as much, but I do like it. Uh, number three for me would be uh, Dr. No uh, with Sean Connery. Probably the best, I guess maybe the best one out of the bunch. I, I do I do like uh, Dr. No. Uh, number two, Goldfinger. Well, I said best one out of the bunch was Dr. No, but, but best of the bunch is probably Goldfinger. Because uh, it's ranked number two. And number one, Skyfall with Daniel Craig. Kick-ass film. I love that film. I, I, I watch it several times. I saw it in the movie theater. And uh, I don't know the best thing. Uh, James talked about the theme song. The theme song is awesome. So those are my top five. Sorry I'm sick and kind of rambled a little bit here. But thank you for watching. And uh, talk to you later. Comments are welcome. As James or Mike says. Whoops, there we go.